All right, this is Brandon here again, and it is time to update my mining rig. I will be deconstructing it, and I have all new graphics cards, all new motherboard. Um, I'm uh, trying to achieve six, uh, six graphics cards all running simultaneously. So I just got six GTX 1060s, the six gigabyte versions, and they're made by Zotac. And um, I don't remember the motherboard I got, but actually they're all boom in those boxes. So I'm going to open all that up, get it all out, and then start disassembling this mess. Alright, here's the graphics cards I'm going with. The Zotac 1060 6 gig. And these are the minis. They're not full size and they only have a single fan. So that's all I can get a hold of. Um, this is like November the, I don't know, 9th I think. Um, and these were roughly on Amazon for about $249. That was the best deal I could find for them, which actually is not bad because most of them were going in the high 200. So, all right, next up on the list is if I can get it out. Boom! This is a um, the, well, actually, they sent me two. Why did they do that? Anyway, this is a uh, adapter harness to run two power supplies on one system. What it is, you put both the power supplies like main into this one and then put that one into the motherboard. But um, they, they sent me two of them, so I got another one for the next system. Um, and that'll lead me on to the next product. All right, I did kind of cheap out and I went with the EVGA um, 500 watt bronze. Um, I'm actually running, this is the 80 plus. I know, I could have spent more money here, but it should be more than enough power for six 1060s. Um, if I was running something bigger, I guess I would go bigger, but uh, I have a 450 watt bronze in my other system and it's been running solid now for like a couple months. So I'm just gonna stay with what I know kind of thing. And the fact that they were cheap and from a reputable brand, can't beat that either. Storage wise, got a sand disk, 120, uh, yeah, 120 gig SSD. Nothing special, just something for the, the windows to go on. Alright, got four gigs of... DDR4 G skill that'll focus in. There it goes. Boom. It was, um, oh, there we go. Focus back. Uh, it was the, the cheapest four gigs that was from like a name brand. I didn't want to get anything that wasn't like a decent name brand. Um, and it's kind of, it's black. That's cool. Like, all right, for processor, I went with the Intel Pentium. This is the G4400. So, nothing too crazy there. If you want to know, there is the information on it. Uh, to round it out, I got the H11 or 110D3A. I think that's it, yeah. 110D3A. And this one has, boom, let's see here. Yeah, that's, that's why I ended up wanting it because it had six PCI Express slots. It's got one times 16 and then the rest are just uh, times one or X1. Um, so that will essentially let me run six graphics cards on here without any kind of splitters. Because that's the problem I was running into on my old motherboard. It only had two PCI Express lanes so I was trying to run splitters on it and then I would end up with like an unstable system and I would have random crashes and I couldn't narrow it down. Like I, would, I bought more splitters and tried like different ones Splitters are just not the way to go. I can't get them to run reliably. So this will let me have six cards, no splitters, hopefully full reliability, no problems. Do, do we know? I don't. So yeah, by or Gigabyte H110D3A. All right, this is my existing mining rig with the 450 watt power supply. I had an original uh, hard drive. It's not a solid state drive. And there's two of my old cards and mainly the old motherboard that only had two PCI Express lanes. I'm going to be replacing that all with the new stuff that I just went over. So I'm just going to set the camera back and do a quick little time lapse. <laughs>
All right, I've been fighting with these cables for probably the past, I don't know, I sped it up, so I think it was like 20 minutes or so. Um, I had to use some adapter jumpers. I hate using those things, but um, it's just the way it goes. Uh, so I had just enough, it looks like, to hook up everything. Um, yeah, so now I just need to run the USBs, but I had to go run outside and I grabbed some, boom, zip ties. I'm going to have to tie some of this stuff up to get it, like, managed. Because right now it's just, like, all over the place. So, um, no need to show you any of this. I'll be right back. So, cut it. Be back in a minute. Boop, 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 boom. All right, I plugged in a DVD drive. I Velcroed my SSD onto the back. I have both power supplies in, and this is gonna be the first post test. Um, I plugged the uh, the DVI in onto, I think, what is the main PCI Express slot. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, 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 smokes. Oh. No way! Will that just burn up? Huh. Ain't that some crap? Right there. Well, let me unplug that and I'll be right back. Alright, well I was using this adapter and it uses two Molex to go down to um, like a, a video card, but it like straight burn up on me. I don't know what the heck that was about. So I'm super nervous because I have another one of those adapters in here. Um, hope it didn't hurt that, that video card. Uh, I'm going to plug in and see if... Dang. It just like burnt straight out of there. Well, let's try this again. Alright, well it's not posting so I'm going to start the tedious process of basically unplugging everything. Because I, I don't quite know what it is. I'm... I'm gonna unplug the second power supply and just plug one of them in and see if that does anything. This really stinks. Alright, I finally got it running. I took all the graphics cards back out and I went back over all the wires, unplugged it, plugged everything back in, and it fired right up. So I'm running off one graphics card. I just installed Windows and I'm gonna install the drivers for that graphics card. And then I'll be turning it off and plugging in one after another, one at a time. That way, Hopefully I won't run into any more issues, but everything seems to be going good so far. Alright, well I finally got the whole system up and running. This is basically what it looks like. Got my 500 watt, 450 watt, um, all the risers, and then all six of the GTX 1060 6 gigabyte cards. And there's the uh, Intel CPU. I got it all set up on this little desk right here. This is probably not going to be enough airflow. So I was thinking about mounting like a little case fan right here and right here to blow air like straight into the cards. I don't know if that'll be good or not. I'm running nice hash to benchmark all the cards right now. But um, yeah, so if you want to see more on this build, um, I'm probably going to be doing a couple other more builds. I have my, my old motherboard and stuff. I'm going to make me a, a setup for that. Got a couple other old cards, but... Um, just gonna try to keep on going up from here so if you like what you see go ahead and like the video subscribe and I will be making more content so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, this is Brandon and I'll see you on the next one